In 1950, huge crowds, over 100,000 expectant enthusiasts, turned up, queued up, and trudged to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix, the first race for the newly instigated Drivers' World Championship. Tens of thousands of the new motor racing public, many ex-servicemen, who found the sport an exciting release from the drab austerity of the times. Tea and wads for the groundlings. But the old Brooklyn's traditions were not quite submerged in the flood tide of popularity. With the right credentials, the right crowd was still distinctly uncrowded. Earl Howe reminisces with former Brooklyn's habitués in the enclosure. While six deep around the windswept circuit, the less favoured patiently wait. The King and Queen arrive, the first visit by a reigning British monarch to a motor race. Princess Margaret, too. The long-awaited BRM also arrived, not to race, but to be inspected by the royal guests in a tent. In the paddock, the Continental Grand Prix cars. The only British opposition, with BRM still lurking in the tent, an ERA to be driven by Bob Gerrard, seen here with his wife Joan, and the British Alta of 1939, the Swiss Baron de Graffenried, and the Siamese Prince Bira, both to drive Maseratis. But Prince or Commoner, they have little chance against the all-conquering Alphas, in competition for the glittering prizes, which totals just £1,750. One British car which does make it to the track is the Sunbeam Talbot, which closes the course. And the first round of the 1950 Drivers' World Championship begins. In 1950, there is no safety road for the pits, so everyone hurries to clear the track. The straw bales, not Arnco, guard the corners. fast hangar straight, with the original hangars still evident. Evident, too, the superiority of the Alphas. In the pits, an overheated Maserati comes in. It has its supercharger pressure raised to try to keep up with the Alphas. Water in, water out. Its race is run. The lone Alta, driven by the Irishman Kelly, comes in for a leisurely refuel. Dr. Giuseppe Farina, relaxed and polished, leads the race. Filmed by Paul Wyand of Movietone, who captures the driving techniques of the time. Farina wins on the Alpha. Like many drivers of the time, Farina wears only a linen cap. When crash helmets are made compulsory, it is the drivers who object. 